Okay, so we are playing white. Let's go uh, c4 in this position. Let's play the English. Okay, now let's go with the knight to c3. Okay, and basically, <coughs> uh, messing with our pawn structure is not really dangerous because taking with the c pawn with uh, b pawn to the center is always okay. Um, so for now, let's develop. We want to think to the bishop, and yeah, basically. <clears throat> it's also helping us to uh, get a very strong center, so I don't, I'm not really sure that uh, giving up uh, a black strong bishop for this uh, pawn is really necessary. And uh, notice that also we got open b file for the rook, we can also jump with the queen to increase the pressure on the position using this bishop. So it's not so simple for uh, black to develop. Um, yeah, so I actually really like my position. We can basically go and play uh, d4 immediately. We can also play uh, knight to f4. Downside, he can push, I guess. Um, yeah. No, but I think that we can already push. And in case he's going to take, I can take back with the pawn. Okay, and as you see, basically white is better. Um, it's not like we got any weakness on this diagonal because it's it cannot be really exploited and basically after playing a move like c6, it can try but nothing to nothing too worried uh, to be worried about. Now uh, in this position basically uh, we can develop the bishop to a3 but I'm afraid it might be a bit passive and uh, we can develop the queen. We can maybe create a small loop for the knight. Uh, so I think before committing anything, let's ju just move the knight to f3. This is a good uh, tempo for black to develop his bishop. With, because now this... Uh, it, it's, it's, weak, it's weakened, but... Um, right now this bishop is covering the... Sorry, the knight is blocking the bishop, so... Um, yeah. That's a good tempo for him. And also, as you see, coming next is probably bishop g5 with a tempo on the queen. Um, I'm not really sure that I want to play bishop a3 yet, because as you see, it might become an issue to, to win this pawn. Even though we can push some pawns, I'm not really convinced that uh, it's going to be good for us. Okay, um, anyway, we can win a tempo on the queen. So bishop uh, g5 makes a lot of sense. And yeah, we are ready to castle for next. We are also ready to play um, e4. Okay, so I decide to break the pin. Uh, of course, a small choice. So let's short castle. Okay. Um, now basically this is creating a weakness. Uh, this is actually good for us, but we still need to find a new square for the bishop. I guess we can already drive the bishop way back because I do want to push the pawn and put the rook uh, on uh, e1. So, yeah. Okay, so let's put uh, rook on e1 first before committing anything. And basically we are ready to uh, get some more space on the center. And as you see, we can also try to maybe uh, attack some of his weaknesses, okay? So maybe a, a move with the tempo already to create uh, an attack on his weakness is good. Now we can maybe shift the rook back, which tells you that you're already in a good position. So yeah, if we're going to go back to the start, okay, if we're going to get back in the start, as you see after uh, bishop uh, to b4, uh, I'm not really believing in this move, it might be theoretical, but I don't really believe that uh, it's good for black. Okay, anyway, let's draw back. Okay, so decide to push the pawn. Makes sense, of course, but again, you might create, you might create some weaknesses if he's not careful. Uh, so yeah, basically, we can already play uh, for the move e4. Uh, we can consider e3 maybe. We can develop the bishop maybe. No, f4 is might be dangerous. Um, 
Okay, so let's let's just uh, for now move the rook to b1. I guess now we will try to get a tempo on the rook, but we can always play the move e4 if necessary. So I guess the next move I'm going to watch is probably going to be knight b6. Makes sense. We need a tempo on the, the queen and also preparing uh, the move uh, f5. But now I can drop back, protecting uh, c4, and I'm basically ready to play e4. So this this uh, bishop to f5 is not really dangerous. Now in this position, uh, an interesting move. Basically, he's got a double pressure on on my uh, position and is offering us a queen exchange. Notice that we cannot really take this knight because uh, this queen is not uh, protected. And um, yeah, so I think that we probably need to take this uh, queen because I don't really see any way to defend both this pawn uh, and the queen and blockading with the rook is not going to be helpful of course so let's take the queen of course I didn't really want to do any queen exchange but it seems like uh, we don't really have a choice we found a very interesting move Okay, so we take now. As you see, uh, maybe we try to jump with the with the bishop with the, the knight to c3, but I guess we can allow that. <clears throat> we can also jump maybe with the bishop uh, d2, just uh, reinforcing everything. This is also an idea. Um, yeah, let's jump with the bishop to d3 to d2. Sorry, just uh, protecting this uh, c3 square. And yeah, basically we are ready to play e4 next. Okay, so he's heading back. Now as you see, we still got this weakness that, weakness that we need to, um, to protect. Uh, I guess maybe even pushing the pawn makes sense, but uh, I'm not entirely convinced that I want to um, uh, give up this uh, strong pawn. I can also maybe jump with the rook to c1, just protect, and then maybe with the bishop uh, to f1. Uh, the downside that after uh, rook to c1 is going to get a tempo, because now we cannot really play uh, for e4. So, yeah. So I think maybe heading with the, with the previous rook to uh, c1, protecting the weakness. Now we are ready to play e4. And yeah, I'm thinking actually about bishop a5, just getting rid of this knight, double up his pawn. I think that uh, it might be necessary in the position. Okay, so now I'm going to push the pawn already. The reason that I must push the pawn, because if, in, if next is going to play uh, bishop a5, I can no longer push, because now he's got some two attackers versus one defender. So... Yeah, that's, that's a good timing to do that. Uh, so yeah, basically my plan is to play uh, bishop a5. Okay, just trying to take the knight and double up his pawn. And maybe even play for uh, e5 next. Okay, so yeah, let's go for uh, a bishop a5. Of course, if he takes, I can take. Okay, so a very interesting choice uh, is going for uh, f5 immediately. Very interesting choice. Uh, I guess the idea if I take, can take with the bishop, maybe exchange some rooks, maybe then take on uh, c4. So I think before committing anything, we can just get rid of this knight, double up his pawns. Okay, and now basically we can decide. And now taking the pawn, I, I think that it's only help, uh, it's just going to help uh, black. So I think actually pushing the pawn is far more interesting because now we are also creating a fast pawn if uh, black isn't careful and if he's not ready for that. So yeah, we can basically 
The downside, if I if I take, uh, it can take my knight, and I can take with the bishop, and then it can win this pawn back. So I think we must take first of all the pawn with the knight. Now, if he's going to take my knight, now I can take the pawn, and this is truly a fast pawn because in the previous, yeah, in the previous uh, moment. If I'm going to take with the pawn, he can get rid of my knight, and then he's got a double attack on my pawn, and I'm going to be worse. Okay, so now I truly have a very strong pawn, and if he's not careful, if he's going to allow me, I'm going to play f4 next, solidify everything, and yeah, basically we're uh, almost ready to push this pawn. Okay, also uh, make sure that you see the pressure that we got uh, around this diagonal, uh, around this uh, pawn. If I'm going to play bishop uh, d5 next, I guess he will try to block, but then we can already play for uh, e6. So I think if he's going to be tempted to play uh, bishop f7, I think this is actually a good tempo for us. As you see, it's very, very, very hard for, uh, uh, for black to defend, and yeah. He must now uh, just move his bishop again, and we uh, actually uh, bought ourselves a very important tempo that we can all, uh, almost push the uh, that we can just push the pawn again. <clears throat> okay, so now basically uh, f4 I guess is also a move. We can also push one more time with the check. Um, but the question here is, um, what do we do next? Okay, so I think that actually pushing the pawn one more time is good, and then, then we can also try to double up. Okay, so I was almost certain that he's going to, uh, to block. Now, uh, I guess a good tempo will be a uh, rook e6. You get a tempo on the bishop, you get a tempo on the pawn. I guess bishop to f7 is coming next. Um, so now basically I can take the pawn, he can take my, I can take, and then he can take this pawn. But then we can push the second one. So, yeah, I probably maybe a bit misplayed it, but... Uh, you know what, let's let's draw back. I think that uh, taking on uh, b6 while losing this pawn, I think it's not really smart. So, I actually want to encourage black to take because now this pawn is going to help us uh, promote and we can put the second rook on d1 in case if we try to maybe put some pressure on the back rank we can always jump with the king to g2 so actually taking the bishop was just helping me in order to try to promote uh, i think a move like maybe maybe b5 was more smart uh, so now basically you can uh, let, let me show you so basically after playing uh, b5 <coughs> Uh, I must uh, uh, I must commit myself, but it's not possible, of course, in this moment because this bishop is not uh, protected. So, yeah, basically the moment that he allowed me to to take with the pawn. Now <clears throat> my next move is probably going to be d6. I can put a rook. I can play d7, and I'm, I can just go for the promotion. Uh, and yeah, basically, as you see in uh, this position, he decided to resign. Uh, I think he played well, but uh, yeah, um, creating this uh, monster pawn was uh, extremely, extremely strong. Let's just see how uh, this, how accurate was this game. Okay, so basically, we played like 1800, so it wasn't the most accurate game by my side, but I'm still happy that we managed to. Uh, creating those uh, monster uh, first pawns and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.